Good afternoon guys, it is Saturday the 29th of April uh, and I'm just with my boy Gooley right now Yes, no. and we're heading over to Hevea in Manchester uh, to pick up, um, well I'll show you when I get them uh, but yeah I'm sorry I haven't been vlogging recently, I've just been really busy with revision and stuff I've been like training on my own so like there hasn't really been an opportunity to get footage in the gym uh, so it's really limited to what me to what I can record. So I've had a bit of a break from it, but this video will be getting put up uh, probably t tomorrow or maybe sun it's Monday even. Um, but yeah, I will catch up with you when we are in Manchester. I've had too much coffee this morning. Absolutely reckless driving from James G. Too much coffee right there. <laughs> In money, gonna get the secret package. Catch up with you guys when I'm in a different location. So we're at Nudu Sushi Box now, and you already know what I've got. It is the salmon black pepper with rice, and James has got seared salmon, and lovely. Gonna enjoy this secret package. Yeah, it's got. I'm oh, sorry. What's happening? Hey, yo. So. We've just been to Havea and we have got the new Yeezys, snap. So how Havea works is if you've got an account with them um, and basically you can you can ring up and then they'll let you reserve a pair, which a lot of people probably think like that's a bad thing, like anyone should have like the opportunity to get them, but it, I think it's a good thing. Because it rewards it, customers. Yeah, it rewards customers and it means I get Yeezys. <laughs> So, unboxing. All white. Pretty nice. Oh, yeah. That's the shoe, guys. Will I wear them? Probably. Shoes are to be worn. So, forgot to mention, there was like uh, a few Chinese kids and they offered us like money for us straight up. So they were saying like, oh, 300, but it's not worth it, is it? So uh, we both decided to keep them. But some lad behind us in the queue sold his for like 350, I think. He actually, um, he so the clip cut there, but what I was going to say was the guy behind us in the queue actually didn't have enough money to buy the shoes so uh, I'm, just, yeah, I'm not even sure whether he got them in the end but um, they were they were one night in Avea which I don't know why they were more expensive but they were um, but yeah I think he might I think he tried to go outside and then see if the Chinese kids would uh, give him the money for him to go in and buy them but or he just sold them or something well, I, I don't really have a clue what happened but, but yeah unfortunate, for him. unfortunate that is unfortunate isn't it imagine that you get a pair of Yeezys reserved and then you don't have enough cash to buy them So it's about half 12 now, and I'll just quickly show you what I've got for my pre-workout meal. It's also my first meal of the day. Been up for about three hours now, but the gym shuts at four. I'd usually typically fast for longer. However, I, I like to eat before I train. So here's what I've got. Here we go. Poached eggs with salmon on wholemeal toast. Um, now I'm also going to have a banana with this, uh, and then I'll give it about an hour or so, and then head over to the gym. But first, bit of yolk porn. Lovely. What is good, guys? So, the first exercise you are now watching is body weight pull ups. Now, I went for four sets of 10 on these, 
um, and I think this was my first third set you're watching. So it took me a while to get the camera set up right. Uh, tried using my iPhone at first, but um, couldn't get that positioned very well. So I ended up using my camera with um, my Gorillapod, which I've bought recently. Um, so yeah, surprised at how well my back's looking on this video. Um, I think I feel like it looks a lot better than it did like last year. Uh, and then I moved on to these cable rows. Uh, shoot for four sets of 12 on this. Now with this exercise, there's typically two ways you can do it. You can um, keep your scapula retracted and um, basically, which shortens the range of motion, or you can do it the way I'm doing it, where you allow your shoulders to protract, i.e. come forward, and then that allows you to get a greater stretch on your lats, and then you pull back and squeeze. Um, so I, um, you, I usually, sometimes I vary the way I do it, but I've been really liking these at the moment as it allows me to get a really good stretch. So third exercise are these um, sort of inclined dumbbell rows. Um, went for about 12 to 15 on this, and I am looking insanely pale. Uh, <laughs> so I did get a sunburn after this session, which I definitely needed. Like I don't think I've been this pale in a very long time. Also need a trim. Like haven't had time to go to get my hair cut. Literally, been all I've been doing is revising and stuff. But yeah, definitely need to fucking start taking care of myself again. Like. So, trained with Ben for the rest of this workout. This was the first exercise he got on. He was a bit hungover, so I don't think he could have packed a full session anyway. Um, that lad will literally do anything to get out of revision as well. He should really be revising. He's got like, <laughs> exams next week. But yeah, so um, next exercise is this cable pullover. So, uh, with this exercise, what I like to do is imagine I'm doing a lat, lat spread at the top of the movement. Uh, that way you get an ex a really, really good stretch. Um, and then what you also want to do is you want to keep your arms sort of the right, the same length, if you understand what I mean. So rather than letting, um, so you want to keep your arms like locked in position essentially. Not sure what Ben's doing with the filming, but uh, <laughs> there you go, there's my arse. Then on to uh, rear delts. So the rear delt exercise I went with was a face pull. Um, looking pretty decent here in my opinion, but again, could really do it again a tan. <laughs> um, and a fucking haircut as well, which I've already said, but it's really getting at me how shit my hair looks on this video. <laughs> uh, so um, what I didn't get recorded that I did do was a one arm dumbbell upright row um, if you go back onto any of my other pull workouts they'll probably be included in there um, so then on to biceps we started with this incline cable curl that you're watching now just try to go a bit higher rep so I think I went 10 on my first set um, shit I might have done 8 actually I intended on going for about uh, 10 reps each set uh, for my first bicep exercise and then for my second bicep exercise um, which was the rope preacher, um, not sorry, not rope preacher, the rope hammer curls um, up the reps and was going for about a set of 12 to 15. You look massive. So I got back from the gym about an hour ago, um, don't, been asked to work tonight, um, don't usually work on Sundays, um, but if, if I get asked, uh, I know I'm needed, so basically I'll just I'll probably always say yes, unless I definitely can't, but um, yeah, so meal, post-workout meal, um, I'll show you what I've got. 
So it doesn't really look that appetizing, but I've got sweet potato fries, peas, and a steak. That's hoisin sauce on the steak, and I've got tomato ketchup to go for the fries. So I thought I'd end this video by showing you some jewellery I picked up recently. So if you remember in my London vlog, I um, s said I went to this shop called The Great Frog London. Um, and now they didn't have my size in stock in the ring I wanted, but I did get round to purchasing it. So I'll show you it right now. So here is the package it came in. So guys, here it is. Um, it's called the Studded Band Ring, I think. Uh, it cost me £95, which for jewellery, I think is a reasonable price. Um, and I'll just show you it on now. So guys, here it is on. Uh, it's really minimal minimalistic. I um, like it a lot. I definitely recommend looking at, um, at the Great Frog for jewellery. So here it is, one last time. Uh, I definitely recommend checking out um, the Great Frog if you're looking for jewelry it's reasonable reasonably reasonably uh gonna leave that in but reasonably priced um and it has some really nice designs i definitely want to get a few more pieces from there in the future um but yeah check out if you guys are looking for jewelry that's going to conclude the video um new videos will be coming soon um sorry for the long gap in between the videos if you're someone who's been looking forward to my videos but I've just been really busy with revision and stuff. I haven't really been doing anything interesting. So if anyone has like any suggestions for any videos or topics they'd like me to cover, please feel free to message me. If not, be looking forward to more vlogs, full days of eating, and just my typical life, really. So, yeah, hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you shortly.